Members of Melissa Lucio are putting pressure on politicians. She's the only Latina on Texas death row. The convicted murderer is scheduled to be executed next Wednesday, unless the Cameron County District Attorney's courts or the governor spare her life. A growing number of supporters say new evidence proves Lucio did not kill her daughter in 2007. Her lawyers say they can prove Lucio's daughter died in a tragic accident. Our Melissa Correa joins us live as she continues to follow this case. Melissa. Hey there, Ron. Melissa Lucio has 13 living children. Today, I heard from her oldest son. Up until this point, John has remained positive, hopeful, convinced that petitions, global support, and a documentary will convince those with the power to spare his mother's life. So far, Melissa Lucio's execution is set rather for next Wednesday, April 27th. Even with an eight hour long drive, very, very emotional. John Lucio could still use even more time. I don't, I don't, I don't even know the word to, tell it. to figure out what he'd like to say to his mother. Every time I come over here, I hide the pain. I hide it all. I mean, a reality check. I, I, we can't, I can no longer hide it. As he approached death row at the Mountain View unit of a state prison in Gatesville, it, it has eaten me up a whole lot. John spent four hours today with his mother, Melissa Lucio. He was just 17 years old when his two-year-old sister died. Now, are you a cold-blooded killer no, not. or were you a frustrated mother who just took it out on her? His mother, pregnant at the time, interrogated, then arrested by Harlingen police. In 2008, a jury sentenced Lucio to death for the murder of daughter Mariah. Lucio's lawyers, a petition, protests, and a documentary say new evidence can prove Lucio is not a killer. They believe Mariah died from a tragic accident after falling down a flight of stairs. Please. Please stop the execution. Neither a South Texas district attorney or judges or Governor Greg Abbott have yet to spare Lucio's life. It's just been tearing me up. I mean, just being days away from F27 has just been really, really hard. The children of Melissa Lucio, who lost a sibling 15 years ago, hope they don't lose their mother, too. We we'll see her Monday, we'll see her Tuesday, and we'll also see her Wednesday. Over the next 72 hours, prayer vigils, protests, and march marches are set to happen all across the country as supporters call for Lucio's life to be spared and her legal team given an opportunity to retry her case. Then on Monday, Reka, the Texas Board of Pardons and Paroles will decide whether they will recommend clemency and that, if they do, will go to the desk of Governor Greg Abbott. Yeah, and the South Texas DA has the power to pull the execution warrant for April 27th. We're we're going to keep an eye on this story. Melissa, thank you so much. You can read extensive coverage of the Melissa Lucio case on KHOU.com, including the background, the bipartisan effort to save her, and why many believe she is innocent.